you little twerp. I'll ride into Stockton and take everyone out. Full of snitches in Stockton. Mm-hmm. Never, never heard of Stockton in my life. Yeah. Canaries in Stockton, motherfucker! Stockton! I'm a professional athlete. I don't do drugs. If I can smoke weed, that's like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Like, you know, steak and potatoes. First thing he does, he gets into the octagon. He looks over at Robbie, he goes, Stockton, motherfucker! Stockton! And he starts walking around, Stockton, mother... And Robbie's like, what the fuck is he talking about? What does that even mean? Yeah, exactly. And then the entire time, the fight is going on. Like, what, bitch? What you gonna do, bitch? What you gonna do, bitch? And then he hit him. Oh, bitch, I just stung you, bitch. And he'd be popping him. And every time Robbie Waller didn't talk back to him, but you could clearly see he, was not, he didn't anticipate that. But I, I don't... It, as far as Nick and Nate go, I don't know if that's like a game plan that they're that's just like their real that's life. Just them. Yeah. Like I think if they were on the street, they'd be like, what oh, bitch yeah. talk? Like oh, that's yeah. that's like real yeah. life talk. Like that's yeah. what they know. But it is like, still what like bitch. Uh, like that that's 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 them. That's them. <laughs> Me and them. <laughs> Macaroni and cheese and hot dogs. Hot dogs. Oh. Conor McGregor, you're taking everything I work for, motherfucker. I'm gonna fight your fucking ass. You know what's the real fight? What's the real money fight is me. Put that real shit right here. Hey, and I'm not. Unfortunately, you can't talk like that on Fox. Sing like little canaries. Yeah, why are you calling here? people gazelles too? You got the weakest, <laughs> lamest, little lamest lineup of training partners I ever even heard of. I'm just looking at your little frame. Yeah. And it just reminds me of an injured gazelle. Yeah. Strapped up. People don't know Take what that means. Take your top off. Take your no top off. No one knows what that means. It's Take in your America. Top off. Take your top off. You little fat skinny. Yeah, right. No one knows what gazelle is anyway. It's America, get it right. <laughs> Who knows where Anderson's head is at? Right? <laughs> I love it. Look at this. I'm going in. He's just like, he knows what I, like, I know what I gotta do, kinda. But I'm not sounding arrogant and like, I know what, but I'm like, I've been cornering Nick since he started, like, before the UFC and stuff, so. I get experience there and fighting, training, so it just feels like he knows what I should, I know I should do, he's my training partner. If he thought I should do something, he'd tell me specifically, but he didn't really, he just trained hard, he said, go beat that motherfucker's ass, don't be a bitch, you know? There you go. Goodness. Nice job. Back to you. He loves to fight. I mean, that dude will fight in the parking lot. He's a strapper. Oh! talked about in order to be as successful in MMA as you are you have to love the sport so much that you hate it. Could you explain that mentality? Uh, that's what that means. What are these? Oh, oh. And then I started having real confidence when I was like, I'd come home tell my friends, I'm like, yo, I, I, dude, I just tapped out this guy. He's like buff, you know, like, you know, I, I, I'm like, dude, I would choke your dad. You don't understand. And they would be like, uh, just, that's when I was infatuated. Like, you said I would choke your dad? Yeah. I would, yeah, well, I mean, we're 14. Yeah, yeah I'd fuck right. your dad up, yeah, man. Yeah, I'd whoop your dad's ass. I don't think the UFC even knows how fucking huge Nate Diaz mm -hmm. is. And Nick is brother Nick. Branding wise, you're saying, and just There's, everybody loves those guys. Mm -hmm. they're, they're fucking characters. From the tough streets of Stockton, California, he can't help but be tough. He grew up with Nick Diaz as your older brother. Nate Diaz is as game as it gets, and he's very dangerous everywhere. Diaz, such a confident young man. Who's the better fighter? That's a stupid question, dude. Nick Diaz, he <laughs> just shook up the world. How's that feel? Hey, I'm not surprised, motherfuckers. A fight's a fight. We never know what's going to happen, but if you had a perfect fight, what would it be? Um, a, a gentleman never tells. Oh, here it is. Never tells. Nate Diaz looking to finish this fight early. Oh, he's pounding as his arm. Where I come from, you know, people like that get slapped. Seconds. Yeah, 
Yeah. <laughs>